welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, we are doing some side table styling. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you haven't already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Now, if you are new to my channel, I absolutely love doing these type of videos. I love getting creative. I love stepping outside the box, getting out of my comfort zone. I'm constantly shopping my own home to mix and match different things, switching decor here and there. So I have done multiple videos. If you have not caught those, they will be linked in the cards above here. But I actually got this suggestion from one of my subscribers saying, hey, can you bring a round side table styling video to your channel? So here we are. So everything that I'm going to be utilizing in today's video are items I already own. If I can link them, they'll be in the description box. As far as the side table goes, I don't really own very many side tables. So the side table I have is very rustic. That's okay if it is not your style, do not worry. Just take the items that I'm doing on top as inspiration if you are struggling with this area for decorating. I also recommend too, if you are struggling with your nightstand, this table can kind of go hand in hand with side table and nightstand styling. So let's get into it. This table does not live here in my living room. I just placed it here so I could give you guys some inspiration and show you guys side table next to a couch. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna be doing a couple styles, but let's get into the very first style. All right, so reference on this table, it is a 20 by 20. It is a very rustic antique wagon wheel type table. It is in a light oak. So this first style, we're going to be utilizing some neutral colored coffee table books. I'm bringing in Habitat, one of my favorites, as well as Homebody. One thing I love about these books is they have a neutral spine. So this is gonna make for a really beautiful first look utilizing a very neutral type style. Now, if you wanted to bring some contrast, you could always do dark colored spines against the light wood, but if you have a dark table, you kind of mix match and mess with the spines against the uh, wood and, and or the material that your table is made out of. All right, the second aspect, I am bringing in this beautiful arrangement. This was an arrangement that I did this past week. These are all uh, florals from Trader Joe's. I love that it is whimsical. It is asymmetrical on one side with the eucalyptus, but bringing in some of that spring, there's a little bit of lilac, white roses. Again, two different types of eucalyptus, but I loved bringing in this live factor for this style. The next element I'm bringing in is this amazing antique uh, riser that I actually got from Round Top Texas when I went to the antique show. I just loved the pattern there, and I love that it is in a dark black. I love this for styling my candle. So the next element that I'm bringing in is a spring candle. This is from my sister's shop. I have been burning these nonstop here in my home. If you love a really clean smelling candle, this is great for the season. So I just use that riser to then just put my candle right on top there. The last aspect and very essential for any person that loves burning their candle is a pair of wick cutters that I'm just gonna have styled there to the side of it. Simple but very, very beautiful. So that is the first style. utilizing two more books. I have the home bar. This is a great book if you need some bar inspiration as far as cocktails, styling your bar. Really, really love this book. I'm also bringing in Habitat again. I'm utilizing these ones because these books are a little bit smaller. You guys will see why I am bringing in a vase for this style. So I'm just going to offset those books there to the right and then I'm going to bring in my potted plant. This is the olive bush. I love this. I love the texture of this pot. It is in a very neutral and I love how whimsical that they made these branches. It's got a lot of movement, which I love. So I'm just going to place that bush there to the left of those books. The next item, if you would have caught my world market video, this is a really cute little trinket box that I got there for $20. Absolutely love this. I actually house my 
coasters and remote controls. So I'm actually just gonna style that little trink box right on top of those coffee table books. The next item I'm bringing in, I got this on Amazon. This is a little marble soap dish. I use this for styling my candles. I use this for also housing my brushes next to a sink. Very multi-purpose decor item, absolutely love it. This is the seven inch, which I believe is the smaller of the two but I'm just gonna have that right there off to the left. And lastly, I'm just adding my spring candle there on top of it. So that is style number two. This next style, I'm going to be utilizing a lamp. This lamp is from Target. It came out a little bit ago, um, but I love the size of it. It is great for this side table just because the side table is rather small. Next, I'm utilizing adding this potted plant. I got this terracotta pot from a garden store, and then I just filled it with a faux plant that I actually got from Ikea a while back. It is just in a little black container. Just stuffed it in there and there you have it. I'm gonna place that little plant right off center to the right of that. Next, I'm bringing in that home bar book. Now, the reason why I'm gravitating towards this book in particular is because of the size. This is not a very large table, so I'm only able to utilize some of my books because some of them are too big for this space. So I like this book because it is a little bit smaller in dimension and it fits on this table a lot better than the other ones. Okay, so two looks for this one. We can add this beautiful brass infamous knot from Studio McGee. Everybody has seen this. It is a great decor item. You can place it right there on the book for one style or you can remove the knot, add a beautiful match cloche. I love these for styling. I think they are awesome right there on the coffee table book and then add your burning candle there as well. If you wanted, you could throw in your wick cutters giving the whole candle moment. It does make for a busier, a busier style, but some people love that. And here is style number three. look I'm going to be adding in this beautiful vase this is from Target this is in the smaller size it does come in a small and a large so I love this because it is neutral and I love the little handles on there so I have the vase again is from Target and then I added in some of my favorite stems from Hobby Lobby I know they don't look crazy realistic up close but I just love the texture and the movement that these give off when I do style them in a vessel and they essentially go with anything that I put in it that's why I love them so much so I'm gonna start with this guy. I'm gonna put it there off center in the back towards the left of the side table. Next, I'm in, I'm adding in some of my two very favorite books. I have Curate, which I recently got from Amazon, as well as Still, another favorite of mine from Amazon. And instead of styling the um, side table with the books perfect, like I usually do, like so, I'm actually just gonna off center it just a hair. So it makes for a little bit of an imperfect style. It's a little unexpected. It's a little bit messier and I've been really enjoying styling my coffee table books like this. It's just a little bit different than most. Now I'm going to add in this really fun bowl. You guys should recognize this. I have quite a few of these little bowls. I love these for styling purposes. It looks worn, it looks used. I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna add this there to the left. Now two ways you could style this bowl. First style, if you love energy, good energy like me and crystals, sage sticks, I'm going to be adding one of my smudge sticks there, a Palo Santo stick as well as two shards of quartz crystals. You guys know I love my quartz. You know I love my good energy. So that's one way you could style the bowl. You could also add these. These are from Amazon. Love these. These are in a natural raw stone. 
Love these for styling. Or you could just place the beads there in the bowl and have the beads kind of cascade down the side of the coffee table books. I just love that as well as a style. And then to finish this look, of course, just adding a beautiful burning candle. Be sure to be careful for your stems that your candle is not in the, in the way of the flame or the heat. But that is style number four. Fifth and final style, I'm going to be starting with the same coffee table books we just did, Curie again and Still. This time I'm actually going to have the spines be perfectly straight, not off-centered, and I'm gonna have the books kind of off to the left here at an angle. This style I'm going to be incorporating my amazing vintage vessel that they got from an antique shop. It is not supposed to be perfect. It is not supposed to be clean. I love the texture. I love that it is not perfect. I use these all over my home and then I'm actually just going to be incorporating this a beautiful asparagus bush that I got from Hobby Lobby as well as these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Uh, check out my Hobby Lobby best of stems video where I showcase these as well. I love these stems, especially the asparagus bush because I don't know if you guys can see, it's longer on one side so it cascades down the side of the table which I think gives it a really beautiful asymmetric look. I'm then gonna be adding in these brass candlestick holders. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. They were only $8.99 and $11.99, but I did get these on sale. But I love these because I'm bringing in a little bit of warmth. So I'm just gonna be placing these off-centered to the right of this style. You guys know, bringing in another burning candle. I'm just gonna have this kind of right here in the center, like so. And then I'm switching it up and adding my black wick cutters. Now the reason why I'm doing black for this style is because the brass, I do not want to clash. The brass that I have of my wick cutters are a different tone from the candlesticks. So I'm bringing in a different color, a different finish to have everything balance out. So that is the fifth and final style. this side table styling if you did please be sure to give it a big thumbs up it helps my channel a ton and it also lets me know that you guys enjoy videos like this as always i hope you got some inspiration i hope you have fun styling your side tables or your nightstands for that matter but until next time i love you so much and we'll see you guys in my next video peace